To ensure that the bookmarklets work on your iPad, first select the Settings tab. You need to scroll down to where the Safari option is, and then make sure that you have Always Show Bookmarks Bar turned to On, and also JavaScript turned to On. Now you can exit out of the Settings menu. Now go to Safari and open up this page. This contains all of the codes you need to get your bookmarklet working. We're going to scroll down to the Clip to Evernote bookmarklet. And our next step is to create a bookmark. Do this by selecting the arrow icon and then select Bookmark. We're going to name this bookmark with the action that we want to use. So we're going to call this Save in Evernote. And then we want to make sure that we select the Bookmarks Bar menu. Now you can see the Bookmarks Bar is displayed in the bottom field. And we're going to click Save. And we should see our new bookmark installed, Save in Evernote. Now we want to move to the code, the Clip to Evernote bookmark code. We're going to click into the box and then we're going to click Select All and Copy. And what we need to do from here is a little bit complicated but we're going to edit our bookmark that we've created. So click on the bookmarks and then select the bookmarks bar. We're going to select Edit and then the bookmark that we just created, Save in Evernote. This is the step that will get the bookmarklet running correctly. So we're going to choose the saved URL, click the X, and we're going to paste in that code that we copied just before. And it should look like that. Select the bookmarks bar again to go back. Select Done to save, and then tap out of the bookmarks bar. Now when we find a page that we want to save, we're going to click Save to Evernote. And a little window should pop up with our standard Evernote saving options. So you can put in your tags, you can choose your notebook, and you can click Save. The first time you do this you will have to log in, but after that it should remember you.